all that and then we'll go back so I can prime in what? There. There. Cats are getting yelled at. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here, I am being consistent, it is 2020. <laughs> I'm killing it pretty much. So um, today I figured I wanted to film a video. I got done with Brendan and Cora work pretty early and I've just been like cleaning and stuff like that. So I was like, I want to do a video where I go through my makeup because I have so much makeup that I don't even touch. And I want to use makeup either that I've never used or that I forgot that I had. Just because it puts me in the mood to actually try things that, one, I haven't tried. Like I have one, two, three, four, four items that I've never tried. And then all the rest of them are things that I completely forgot that I owned and I just haven't used in a long time. So we're going to do that today. I have some coffee. It's, I shouldn't even be drinking coffee right now. It's 523. But I need to power through. I want to do this video. I want to film one more video and then... I have to cook dinner. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I already filled in my brows and I used my Anastasia Browis as usual. Um, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Born This Way Foundation. Born This Way Concealer from um, Too Faced in Natural Beige. I'm actually going to use this concealer as well for my under eyes. And I have not used this concealer in such a long time specifically for my under eyes. And it's funny because it's such a high rated concealer like a lot of people love it they say that it's the shape tape that's not as dry blah, blah blah but on me i find that it creases every single time that i use it that's why i don't use it too often i have it in my kit as well and i do like it in my kit i like using it on people that have really dry um under eyes i'm just using it to like line i should zoom in a little bit there we go using it to clean underneath my brow real quick i haven't done my brows i mean i never do my brows but i haven't done them in a long time so there's a little bit of hair there. I just dab that in. This isn't one of the concealers that like blows my mind. Like I much prefer my Morphe concealer. That Morphe concealer is my life. I'm literally about to be scraping that bottle that I have and it's my third bottle of the concealer. So I love it. I actually need to pick up another Tube. I'm really excited to do this. I want to do this every so often because there's so much stuff that I get and then I end up being in the habit of using the same stuff over and over and over again, which isn't a bad thing. Like I stick to the products that I like. You guys know this. I use the same stuff over and over when it comes to like foundation, concealer, especially complexion products. I don't like to switch up my complexion products because once I know what I like, I don't like to change it because I know exactly how my makeup is going to look. I know exactly how it's going to wear. I know if it's gonna last and all that stuff so I should have done that off camera but whatever I've never used this this powder before this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder I'm sure a lot of people have heard about this powder I'm sure a lot of people have used it um, but this is a powder that basically feels like you're putting water on your it's so weird like I have touched it before and this is what it looks like it has this little sifter and it's like the weirdest sensation because it feels wet it's so weird oh my god but it's powder oh my god it feels so strange like i literally on my eyes right now it feels like i'm putting water on my eyes it's so weird but it set my under eyes so i'm really curious to see how i'm gonna like this so for my eyes i'm gonna use this dominique cosmetic celestial thunder palette I don't even know when I got this. I don't know where I got this from. I don't know if I got this in gratis. I don't know if I got this in a boxy charm. I really don't know. Like I literally still have the plastic on it. So this is what the palette looks like right here. And I'm gonna be honest, I will probably be doing something very boring. I really wanna use this color. It's like this weird shift of pink, red, and gold, and like an orangey color. And then I'm gonna use all the neutrals. I think last time that I spoke to you guys, I was telling you that I was like about to be full-time for my business and it is official. I resigned from my part-time job at Sephora last week or a week and a half ago. And although I was sad because I love, I've never, ever, ever loved a group of people the way that, well, coworker wise that I do with that team. They're amazing. Um, I don't think I ever said which location I worked at, but I worked at the Sephora in the Florida mall and they have the most incredible, funny, talented freaking artists and people that I consider like friends now. Like most of the time, like after you leave a job, it's like you kind of lose 
the relationships that you had with the people and with this specific job like i feel like these people are going to be in my life like i love them so 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 much some of them i've known for years already and i was really really sad and when i told them that i was leaving like i got so many messages all of them were texting me managers were texting me and they were like oh my god is it true like they're just such incredible people like amazing so like God, I'm gonna miss them so much. Oh, so I went into Lunar Eclipse first. That's this orange that I put in my crease and then I'm going into Storm Dust now. But yeah, so I am officially 100% self-employed and it is the craziest, scariest, most rewarding feeling I've ever experienced in my life. Like the day that I was, the day after. So I put in my resignation on Sunday and then Monday when I went to work for the store i was driving to work and i was just like wow like i can't believe we're doing this like my business partner actually quit her job and she had like a corporate job um she quit her job and has been working for the business for a couple of months and she you can tell like she's just so much happier and it's just amazing we get to do things the way we want it it's our rules um a team that we get to build and it's just such an exciting time like and it's it's crazy because i literally wrote it down when i was planning my goals for 2020 i was like this year is going to be the year that i work 100 percent for myself and i am still freelancing um because i already had like weddings and stuff booked for 2020 and i am still doing that especially because most of it is on the weekend so it doesn't really interfere with anything going on with Brendan and Cora, because like I said, it's on the weekends. Now I'm going to go into Zero Gravity. This is like a cool tone, dark, dark, dark brown. I don't even really know what I'm going for here, but I kind of want to do a halo eye because those are my favorite. These colors are blending really, really well. So now I'm trying to make sure I stay consistent with two videos a week. So far, so good. I'm filming this one for this week and one more for this week. Um, I'm gonna do a haul because kind of like a collective haul because Okay, I'm gonna go into this fireball color. I'm gonna use a brush even though I know Brushes are not the best for this, but I'm gonna pick up this color right here. I'm just using a flat shader brush Wow, that color is beautiful You probably can't see it very well on camera Yeah, no, this isn't like sticking I don't know if you guys are it's like this red gold orangey type of glitter and it's so pretty so much for the halo eye i'm just throwing it all over my lid wow there's like barely any fallout with this at all i should have used a prim like a glitter primer to stick it down or wet i'm gonna do finish off the rest of my eyes and then i'm gonna go in to the skin so i'll be right back Okay, so lashes are on and these lashes are so, wow, so nice. I've never worn them. Um, they are from Dame Boss, which I'll leave her link down below. I'm actually doing a collab with her. And I don't even, oh, what style are these? These are the style volume six. I'm going to leave them down below because they are, look at how like fluffy and flutter they are. And they're really, really comfortable like on the eyes. Like I will not wear uncomfortable lashes. Excuse me. For primer, I actually have two different primers. One that I have tried and one that I've never tried. And the one that I have tried and completely forgot about is this No Pore Blend Prime Essence. Um, that's all it says. And it's from Touch and Soul. I remember we got this in a BoxyCharm. I used it like once or twice and that was it. So I'm going to use this all over my face. And then for the center of my skin where I get shiny or oilier i'm gonna use this primer which i haven't heard anything about i know i got this in my um gratis this is the urban decay all nighter face primer so it's a long wear foundation grip and it preps smooths and perfects i'm really hoping that this is not mattifying because i'm going to be using a mattifying oh it doesn't look it so it looks kind of like a like a moisturizer the foundation that i'm using oh it actually feels like a moisturizer too foundation that i'm using is very matte so matte and really full coverage so i'm probably going to look very different than what i normally look because i normally don't do full coverage i'm like a medium sheer to medium is like where i live but we're gonna see okay 
I wonder what this is supposed to do because I don't really feel much of like a difference. Okay, so now for foundation. I'm going into the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I have the color 3.02. Um, it's for skin tone medium and undertone neutral olive, which is literally exactly what I am. I've never used this, so we're about to see. I know it is like full coverage, full coverage, full coverage. So I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna dot it. No, I'll put it on my beauty blender. I'm literally gonna go in with this much because I don't know what to expect. I don't know how I feel about the texture. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys see how much coverage that was? Okay. Okay, okay. Like, that, I'm taking like a dot. Like, that's all I have. Actually, let me put it on this side. Wow, I cannot believe how full coverage that was. I'm literally taking like dot by dot and you guys can see like Wow, I feel like I look like a sheet of paper oh, This is so matte like do you guys see there's like no shine to my face at all I don't even want to put this on my forehead because I feel like it's gonna make my forehead look white and this thing is, this is like probably the most matte foundation I've ever put on because like, do you guys see how this goes on? It's definitely lighter than my forehead, but that's pretty common for me. My forehead is a lot darker than the rest of my face. Oh, my, I don't, I don't know if this foundation is my cup of tea. Like, do you guys see what I look like right now? I'm sure once I put like bronzer and all that stuff on, it'll be fine. Normally, I know that something is like extreme full coverage when my mole does not show through. Because that is like dark, 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 dark brown. And this is like, you can barely see it. Wow. Okay. I need to, I need, I need, I need to put more stuff on my face because I feel like I look like a crazy person. So I'm going to go in with the concealer. And I feel like I barely even need anything because that foundation just covered up everything. I wonder if I can like mix this with oil. I'm pretty sure I can to make it more hydrating because this is really matte. And I don't mind matte. Like I normally can get down with matte. But this is like Kat Von D type matte and I don't, my skin usually will look like really chalky if I do that. I'm gonna use this powder again. This is that Hydra powder, which, wow, I put words in there. So I'm gonna just dip into it. Thank goodness this is hydrating. It's just so strange. It feels so weird. Um, I'm not gonna set my entire face because if I do, I'm probably gonna look like a powdered donut from looking so dry, guys. Oh my god. I have no words right now. And I probably, I'm wondering if I look as crazy as I look because the viewfinder, I look like I'm pastel. Okay, I'm not gonna put any powder on my face, not even my favorite micro, micro smooth powder. I'm just gonna go into an Anastasia bronzer, and this is in the color cappuccino. I've had this for a little bit. I've used it like two or three times and then I forgot about it. So I'm just gonna use this to bronze because God knows my face needs some color bad. So. If you want full coverage, I will say this will give it to you. Like this is full coverage okay 
least feel a little bit better, not with some bronzer on. But wow, this is like glam glam. Like this isn't even like, oh my god, yeah, cute. No, this is like, wow. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this NARS blush that I have not touched in forever. I think I've had this since I first started at Sephora like five years ago, four years ago. This is in the color Gulu, Gulu, I don't know. Um, but it was the birthday gift, so I'm just gonna... I used to love this blush. I just have not used it in forever. Now I'm gonna take the Hangover 3-in-1 Too Faced Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Another product that I used to love, and ever since Morphe came out with their setting spray, I just have not touched it. But this is really hydrating, so I'm going to drown my face in it. I used to love this setting spray. I used to use it as primer and a setting spray. I still feel really, wow, that just lifted up. My foundation lifted like right here, which is not cool. Um, but we're gonna keep going. So now for highlight, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution and Soph X highlighter palette. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought this. I used to love this and I have not touched it and I don't know how long. I'm gonna use the colors on this side just cause they're a little bit more like golden for my skin tone. Well, I forgot how intense that is. Whoa. Okay, at least this will give my face a glow. I'm actually gonna use the white color in this palette right here to brighten my inner corner area. This has been a struggle of a video. See, this is why I don't use new things. I'm setting my brows with some Anastasia brow gel, like always. I'm gonna spray my face again. Wow, this is so full coverage. I'm just gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna pat it like I normally do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. And for my lips, I'm bringing back an old favorite. And this is the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner, but in the color Need Me. When my obsession with this um, lip liner first came, it was with this color. And it's more of like a mauve. Um, so I'm gonna put that on because my lips need some color because this is wild. Lip liner's on, still so good. I'm gonna use this lipstick that I bought so long ago and I used it and then I forgot about it. And this is the uh, Maybelline lipstick in the color Baddest Beige. Wow, that's a really pretty combo. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use this Catrice Cosmetics Volumizing Lip Booster that I bought so long ago and it's been sitting in my drawer. That's all I'm gonna use. It makes your lips so shiny. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna hit my lower lash line with some mascara. I'm just using the Voluminous Carbon Black. Alright guys, we made it. I did not know how this video was going to end. I'm not even too sure how I feel still. I feel very glam, that's one thing I'll say. Everything did come together a lot better than how it went on. I keep looking in the viewfinder just to make sure that I'm in focus. Um, the eyeshadow palette was absolutely beautiful. I'll definitely use this again. These lashes, I love so much. They're so pretty. This lip combo... is phenomenal like my lips look so like plump and shiny and pretty as far as this foundation i don't know i don't know how i feel this highlight i just remembered why i loved it so much back when i used to use it because my cheeks are like glossy blush and bronzer i feel like they look fine like it looks even it looks blended but this foundation and my under eye is creasing already and that's what i always find happens with this concealer which is why i don't use it really ever i want to see how this foundation works if i mix it with an oil because i mean the coverage is amazing if you want something that has really good coverage it's just really 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 matte and it makes my um beauty mark like disappear so 
too full coverage for me but i feel like if i sheared it out with an oil or mix it with something it would be really really pretty i hope you guys enjoyed this really quickly before just in case i get any questions i have um this layered necklace this is from brenda linen core it's not available yet and you guys couldn't even see my t-shirt so it doesn't matter but yeah let me know if you guys like this type of video I still just feel so off because of the foundation and like how it went on but I will say like after everything it went together pretty well Please let me know what videos you guys want to see down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye